Watch me disassemble this microwave. First, I start by unscrewing all the screws, including all the safety screws, as shown here. Now that it's open, we unplug the motor. The microwave fought back, so I put my glove on, which has seen some things. Now that we've found the magnetron, we can work on removing it. Unfortunately, I have a bit of a wrist issue, so I struggled a bit with this. Unfortunately, that was not all the screws needed. Remove the power cable, and now it's back to the magnetron. Unfortunately, my screwdriver wasn't long enough, and I said size doesn't matter. This is the magnetron. If it drops, it releases dust that can cause permanent lung scarring or cancer. So, be careful. That's not good. This microwave does not have the large capacitor I was expecting. I wonder if it's because of the size. It's larger than normal. So far, we have a motor, the wiring, the magnetron, and another wiring over there to the left. Here I'm taking the magnets off the magnetron and uncovering the copper wire underneath. I thought the capacitor might have been in this part that I tossed aside, but there's not. On the bright side, I found some great copper, two magnets, and the heatsink. And into the copper pallet goes.